Hi, my name is uh, Srinivasulu Rajendran. So I'll be presenting on a formulation of a scalable business model for sweet potato seed and root business in Tanzania. So before um, I start my presentation, I'd like to just give you the background about this crop. This crop is originated from Central or South America regions, but it's spreaded across Africa and Asia. So sweet potatoes are vegetatively propagated crop and because of that farmers tend to produce their seeds on their own so sometimes they even visit to their neighbor farmers they source it from their neighbor farmers for free of cost so which means uh, this particular seed business is not that lucrative i mean it's a free of cost trading so and not only that because of uh, they're sourcing it for free so the quality control is not uh, kept not regulated by the government so which means there's a accumulation of viruses are pretty high in fact some of the studies have shown that more than 50 percentage yield lost is happening because of virus spread so it's a four month crop life cycle so this particular crop is normally produced by uh, women so majority of the producers are women at the global level this this crop is ranked as the seventh place uh, as a food crop and third most important crop root among uh, all the root crop categories and then the largest producers of uh, sweet potato in the world is china the second largest producers are nigeria in the african continent and following by malawi and uh, tanzania uganda so these orders differs within african continent but majorly the la the largest producers of sweet potatoes are basically nigeria tanzania uganda and malawi and before I develop my the business model canvas, the challenge statement I have formulated. So how can we ensure that smallholder farmers are having access to quality seed? The second statement is how to ensure that sweet potato seed entrepreneurs and root producers are able to generate more profit and scale their business model. How to ensure that demand and supply of roots are balanced. So uh, before getting into the canvas, and I like to just give you the, some of the opportunities that uh, the producers from this uh, crop. And uh, one of the biggest um, opportunity that I see is uh, demand and supply cap. There's a huge demand, but very low supply because of, as I said, there, there, there's a potential yield level is pretty low in African continent in a global potential yield level is basically about 32 tons per hectare but in developing countries about 8 to 12 tons so per hectare so we have a huge scope to increase the potential of uh, the yield by accessing quality seeds and also there's a new market segments emerging particularly schools and in developing countries we have these midday meal schemes and where uh, government like to procure more uh, sweet potatoes uh, within sweet potatoes, we have a biofortified uh, crop which is called orange flesh sweet potato, which has a high nutrient uh, content. Um, so because of that, there's a huge demand from schools. And also a lot of demand is uh, coming from home gardens and processing industries and supermarket. And there is a increasing urbanization is happening and consumption pattern is changing towards more processed product and processing industries are uh, now looking for orange plus sweet potatoes because they see it as a nutritional content that can be added in the value uh, as a value addition to the crop and also it has been produced a lot of value added products um, and then there is a demand for nutritional crop also increasing among urban consumers and also currently there's emerging policy related to seed certification for exclusively for root and tubers banana crops and the sweet potato is inclusive within that uh, framework and um, it is also low labor intensive which means the cost of production is pretty low so before developing this canvas um, i come out with three different uh, business ideas um, but i did a lot of uh, trial and somehow I realized that uh, we should have a RTP association, which RTP stands for root and tubers and banana. All these three crops are uh, three category crops are vegetatively propagated crops, and it has a similar challenges and same problems. So I decided to club them together so that uh, um, we ensure that 
we don't only deal with uh, low commercial crop but there are some uh, the high value crops such as uh, potatoes as, as part of rtp crops and when we deal with multiple crops the, uh, the sustainability of association actually can be stronger so uh, there's a distribution channel but I like to skip this and like to just move forward on this uh, business model canvas and uh, as a the major customer segments are basically farmers and NGOs and NARIs and uh, international organizations, root traders and root processors. So the first um, five categories are uh, first uh, four categories are uh, the major customer segments for seed. And the root traders and uh, farmers and root processors are a major segment for roots. So the way I was thinking is basically uh, my previous version I was focusing only on the seed market. As I said, it is a vegetatively propagated crops, and a majority of the farmers are still source their seeds for free of cost. So I was thinking, you know, we should have we should look for a, a market opportunity for roots, and try to strengthen that particular uh, segments so that when there is a high demand for roots and uh, there is a, a demand for quality seeds. So I felt association can act as a kind of intermediators between uh, the processors and uh, root traders and uh, seed producer, uh, root producers and seed producers. So when we can uh, increase the demand, when we try to strengthen the relationship with uh, root traders, and uh, we should be able to increase the revenue for root uh, producers. So which means uh, root producers tend to look for quality seeds and the demand for quality seeds can go up. So my value proportions, so which means uh, based on the cause, I realized I must look for uh, the most important uh, customer segments. I have to take only one, but given the crop complexity, I have to go with uh, three uh, group, which is farmers, root traders and root processors. And in order to uh, meet the demand from these uh, segments, I have to ensure that uh, I have to provide, I should have a quality seeds, I should have a market preferred varieties, I should have a preferred treats by the traders because traders looking for a particular treats, we have to ensure that uh, those treats were addressed. And then uh, we should also have, when I say preferred treats, that inclusive of uh, quality roots as well. So the channels that I like to look for is RTP business ups in the market. So I like to have a kind of a exclusive business ups that is uh, located inside the market where they are exclusively focusing on a high quality routes and there will be a signboard that describes the, the quality of routes. And we used to have a national source, uh, shows and where these uh, high quality routes can be displayed and improve the uh, marketabilities. Uh, we can also make a sales there and we have some digital system where they can also sell routes through the digital platform In order to increase the customer relationship I like to utilize more on a digital platform and sending uh, free calls SMS automated uh, SMS and etc and We like to provide some free samples and uh, like to provide some contract farming so that farmers tend to realize the quality of seeds and able to order more and also we like to give free samples to the traders as well to able to understand the quality of seeds and etc and in order to uh, so once we build this customer relationship the revenue stream we are going to have a different pricing strategies to ensure that we have some discounted price for uh, people who makes earlier order especially for the seed business and the root productions we like to ensure that uh, we give them better price competitive price and make sure that root uh, producers are able to uh, buy our roots and we also provide extension services uh, to the farmers but uh, for the free of cost initially but once if they go much more deeper and we like to charge for that so in order we have some of the key activities and rm stands for rabbit multiplications you know in order to increase the yield for seed and also we like to do the demonstration plot so ensure that the quality of seeds like to do the labeling and branding certification of the seeds to make sure that farmers are able to access quality seeds and also we need to provide opportunity to the our customers uh, in the national shows uh, and recognize that they use our materials and they have done a good job so we have to give them rewards and awards to them 
So in order to execute these activities, we have some cost incurred that includes production cost and other marketing cost and etc. So in order to meet this cost, we need to uh, generate this resource. So access to credit is very important and workshops um, where we can get more orders and digital service providers, market research. In order to get this resource, we need to have a key partners and most of the key partners are government sectors, NGOs, and then uh, some of the academic partners to do the market research and seed producers association, ICT service providers, supporters, and etc. So we come out with elements of business model for seed business. Uh, we have identified trends in seed potato seed business. There's an increasing trend on willingness to pay. There's a market force. There are new emerging uh, market uh, segments are coming up. There's a microeconomic forces. We have seen overall seed industries are growing, especially for RTP crops. And uh, but the problem is lack of awareness about quality seeds, which needs to be increased. And the same thing, there's a growing uh, demand for roots. And but uh, it is very important to ensure that we deliver the preferred varieties that traders are looking for. There are some industrial force. Uh, the industry of force is basically we we are trying to find out how um the the markets are behaving and uh, we should be able to meet their uh, demand and consistent there's a consistent supply of roots so that we ensure that the demand and supply is balanced so thank you so much if there are any comments most most welcome thank you so much